We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know. Welcome in, guys. Guys, OTS packs. No one's talking about OTS packs right now. You guys are going to locals right now and pulling these broken cards, pulling these great cards. They're cards that you have pulled in the past. No one's talking about OTS tournament packs right now. There's so much value inside of these. So let's start with the latest and greatest, the one that's most fresh off the press just like the channel ots tournament pack 24 let's get it guys we have chaos angel ultimate rare where's the pictures man man tcg players slacking on this one but guys card is 70 bills a pop not too long ago spiking up guys spiking up here based on the charts getting sales close to 78s but as we can see there's a couple of deals it's that it has retraced back down a little bit you know back down to these lows to making new all-time lows so 24 listings though there's not too many listings you have a two ofs a couple of one ofs but then the card eventually reaches 72s and eventually 75 so three pages only this is a good time in my humble opinion honestly the only risk is if this card gets reprinted in the rarity collection too that's about it if it doesn't then it most likely gets a reprint in this year's tins but again this is the max rarity this is the ultimate rare i would be going for this version instead of the og secrets right now that's just me and uh this price is not that bad in the 60s honestly we have harpies feather duster we we knew that um you know there was a news article item that said that we're getting an alternate art harpies feather duster i believe in the rarity collection too if i'm not mistaken so that's not bad that's not bad so these ot's i expect them to go down you do see 42 bills right now then it quickly goes up to the mid uh 40s and then eventually to 50 so don't get it twisted still hard to get this ultimate rare 23 listings only three pages a lot of one-ups man place it to have 50s um but of course most people that buy this card just want one and uh, it's iconic used to be triple digits uh, you know it's already down 50 percent more than a 50 percent half off discount so again i still think there will be sell pressure on this card due to the alternate art reprint and if you get seven additional harpy feather duster reprints even though it won't be in this art it's still a reprint of the card i expect sell pressure to come in and to see this ultimate rare even in the 30s you know and then by then it wouldn't be bad to make sure to get some exposure for this card again it's all speculation who knows it might v-shape recover and spike up from here you never know but that's just based on the chart the sell pressure the amount of listings everything hard card to get but i expect more sell pressure if um you know or when the alternate art reprint comes out we have rock rock of rack <laughs> rock of the vanquisher here ultimate rare now this one had a low in the teens in the 14 15s then it spiked back up to 17s and now it's chilling mcmillan at 16 billies a pop here 18 listings two pages only honestly it quickly pushes up to 20s i'm surprised with this one um because not too many people are playing vanquish souls is not getting that many you know regional tops and ycs tops and things of that nature but again maybe at the local level there's a lot of you know people that enjoy vanquish soul as a deck archetype and um yeah i mean 14 spiking up to <clears throat> excuse me guys 17s 18s on the chart a little bit of a retracement back down giving you guys some deals eventually it's 20s and beyond so two pages only 18 listings i'm surprised with this one but yes because people are still pulling this right now so i'm surprised it's actually spiking up even though people are supplying this to the markets but uh yeah there's been a, this one you know it's actually been a weird one then we have unchained soul of charvara guys don't forget Un unchained souls um unchained is what i meant to say um as a deck is coming back into the meta fray and look this card was a billion some change first it was a billy then a billion some change now spiking up to 366s wow retracing back down to the mean here providing you guys with a couple of deals a couple of ones and two ofs then eventually it's three billies down here at the bottom of the page three pages only 24 listings for the super rare guys people that play unchained they're going to want their max rarity their holographic you know um so that's why you're gonna see the demand with this card as we can see we have other versions look we have a common and then the super rare so the super rare i mean this common used to be money i believe so let's see yeah uh not really so i mean you still got the super rare though super rare looks clean cut fresh off the press you guys want to make sure that you pick this card up now under 250s you don't want to be that guy paying four to fives down the line then we have unchained twins aruha this uh ots tournament pack 24 super rare was what 69 cents of that spiking up to billies you have a couple of one-ups but yes if you want multiples let's say you want to place it because you're playing unchained you're going to have to pay three dollars and fifty cents a pop that's almost that's ten plus dollars 
for a place at wow then it goes to 15s for a place at and then gone only three uh, listings here if you want multiples hard to get the super rare just came out people pulling them out but the demand is just too great for the holographic version of aruha and we have king tiger wangu this is the best super rare from this set in my humble opinion the best penny stock that you can invest to you know into right now from ots tournament pack 24 why let's go ahead and do the analysis once again it's not my opinion it's not what i think i show you the evidence guys here some most of the times is the charts but in this case let's analyze the previous prints guys this card only has um four additional prints other than the super rare this is the max rarity version of this card max rarity rare was the previous max rarity the first set og but now it's super rare guys this card look champion pack one used to be double digits this used to be double digits this look five and five i think they were all double digits before this reprint yes of course they've gone down because now you have a super rare only five prints what do you think when this dries up well once we get ots tournament pack 25 26 what do you guys think is going to happen with this card um you know it's going to become the max rarity version as it already is in the sense of price or at least it should it should be a double digit card down the line so you want to make sure that you're early you want to make sure look billy 40 spiking up to twos now consolidating here i mean this if you can grab any of these deals of course you do see a lot of one ofs and if we clean this up janitor style we do see here uh let's see yeah you have a lot of one ofs here with shipping and uh yeah so really it's two dollars and fifty cents for this card i have like six of these honestly i tried to get an r09 at a billy mark but it's just kind of difficult with you know sellers only having one and things of that nature and i haven't been actually going to locals lately so it's been hard you know having and if even if you do it's hard to pull this super rare um so once you combine all those factors all the evidence that i've just displayed to you guys this is easy money it's too easy guys easy money easy money in the future this card won't get reprinted anytime soon don't let these deals you know um go for granted uh, to, don't take this for granted that's what i wanted don't don't let these slip by buy in now early early at a billy two billies i already have my six copies i want an r9 we'll see if i can get it but i ain't buying this card at 250s and above that's just me now if i wouldn't have any then i'd throw ten dollars at this and at least get a place at the bare minimum 31 listings four pages this is easy money down the line look people guys the demand is there look people coming in Look, buying three of six of the demand is there for this card just a great card um that has always had its demand and now we have a holographic version it's too easy the game is too easy sometimes guys make sure you take advantage of that then we have raid raptor four strict as a common look was a billy spiked up to fours now it's free freemium here a couple of shekels gets you this but don't take this for granted look 68 listings it's almost seven pages that's true that's now but this is going to be a billion beyond common so if you can come in here maybe buy a place that at 50 cents it's gonna pay off it's gonna pay off down the line once we get ots pack 25 26 this is going to get harder to get even as a common and it'll be a billy maybe even multiple billies down the line and we have silent mining same deal as a common used to be 31 cents spiked up to 41 cents you do see a lot of one ofs around the quarter mark and beyond but you know if you, again same deal if you want multiples you need to pay billies you need to pay billies for multiples of this common in ots tournament pack 24 another card that look people coming in already paying billies for this card so if you can get this at any lower price or maybe you know at locals ah, put the common trash pick those commons up one man's trash is another man's treasure then moving on to ots tournament pack 23 we're going to discuss you know 24 23 22 21 maybe even 20 we'll see guys but um yeah as we can see there's um super rares here making moves and uh, we'll discuss this but we'll first start with the ultimate rares enemy con uh, controller econ down to 33s i was surprised this was 50 bills just the other day you know now people have been getting sales in the low to mid 30s 22 listings 34 dollars not bad i mean a hundred dollars man a hundred dollar bill gets you a, a place that that's not bad for a high-end ultimate rare max rarity version of this card three pages only the man coming in at these prices look used to be 52s the other day then 45s now getting floored consolidating here great level to get at least some exposure for a card that is a multi-format card was even seeing play in the current meta and uh yeah 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 that it's not bad for this ultimate ultimate rare from a pack that is getting harder and harder to get now because it was the previous ots tournament pack 
I like it. I like it. Big welcome labyrinth. Great card to start speculating on. Honestly, guys, great card to start speculating on. 28 listings, as we can see here. Three pages only. Look, you have our own nines here and here at 27s and some change. Great card to pick up right now, in my humble opinion, because um, it's max rarity. I mean, unless it comes in the rarity collection too, um, or something like that, I expect this card to hit $50. So double up in price from here. That's a great conservative target because we've been consolidating now going up for the last month. You know, um, if we go to the monthly, look, there we go. We had the spike from 25 to 27s and now we're consolidating. That's what you love to see in a chart formation. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. The trend is your friend until the end. And this card, it could possibly be starting its new uptrend, you know, on its way back towards previous all-time highs. It's good speculation. I mean, Labyrinth right now, not doing too much, not getting representation in the top tier, high tier Yu-Gi-Oh events, but that's right now. All it takes is one list, a little slap in the wrist of the top deck, and then all of a sudden, this deck can heavily, you know, can become a, a big competitor, uh, guys. So we have Kurikar Divine Carnate, guys. This ultimate rare from OTS Pack 23, we see getting floored in price right now. At a new all-time low of 26 billies, you know, it's coded in 26, 27, three pages only. As we can see, 27 listings. The man, eh, there. Honestly, I wouldn't be buying this card up right now. Who knows? My v shape recover might make a new uptrend, might continue going up. That's a possibility, but me um look if it, this card is going to get a reprint either in the tins or in the rarity collection too um or in something else it's it's due for a reprint already um because we only have the starlight and the ot and uh you know and which one else i think is like three prints only um so it's hard it's hard to get it's hard to get this card and then the og secret from pote yeah so only three prints i mean people need this card it needs that fourth print to come out now look secrets have been going down as well 17s honestly me if i would be picking this card up i'm not paying 17s for no secret pay 25 26 is for the ots you'll be better off to live to fight another day pulling the rug i love this card i have my r09 plus my playset for myself my position hasn't changed excuse me i believe i got the proper exposure this card was hard to get as a super rare hard to even pull card was a billion some change not too long ago like two months ago spiked up to threes retrace back down to the mean and look spiking up chart hasn't updated you know we've made a new local high in this card um we should be around up here on our way towards uh the previous all-time high at around six billies and uh yes this card look 17 listings only you have one at four another one at four then it's five billies and beyond i don't know how many times i've talked about this card um i think even collabing with saki we touched base on this card and we said it's easy peasy easy peasy easy money down the line that's why your boy has in his r9 binder nine of these plus my personal playset that i don't plan on ever getting rid of because i play edison and and i got them for cheap billy two billies when no one cared about it when we were first talking about it. and look we've started this uptrend higher high right here this is the first high higher than the previous high and then we got the second high here the trend has been confirmed the switch in trend that means that guys if you thought this was going to get cheaper no this will only get more expensive as a super rare holographic me my target for this is double digits this super rare ots pack 23 uh, super rare is going to double digits it is it is honestly that's yeah it could be way down the line but i i mean you're already paying a premium if you're getting it now but this could be cheap compared to the future that's just me at the bare minimum if i wouldn't have this card i would just get my place a holographic place a clean cut fresh off the press that's just what i would be doing right now guys guys destroy the like and subscribe button it really does help out you know the channel to continue to grow um ring that bell right there and uh giveaway giveaway that's why you want to subscribe giveaway coming soon each and every episode until i get to 4.5k we're gonna be showing these because we will be giving these and much more coming down the line all you have to do is click a button and you get to participate in our channel giveaway right there cardboard we always love to give back on the channel shout out to andrew for providing these this pieces of cardboard um this donation for the giveaway guys none of this content is official financial advice is for entertainment purposes only link in the description down below get your 15 dollars off don't miss out pick up meta relevant cards over here for 15 dollars off on the platform don't miss out don't miss out guys and we have a discord continues to grow one click gets you and make sure you swing by now we have ots tournament pack 22 here guys beautiful beautiful ultimate rares here that we will be discussing and then a couple of the super rares um as well let me just put this here right here i wanted to touch base on this boom 
okay so we have triple tactics thrust here guys again triple t's this is the version that i'd be buying no way i'm paying 45s for the first set og secrets or for the ultra rares just no way no how i'd take the extra 20 dollar bill and buy this one currently at all time lows quickly push us to 70s guys you know if we clean this up listings are low as well people coming in 22 listings only three pages yes you have ro9s at 70s but right now mid 60s that's where the price is at um th these are the deals right now and uh people have been taking advantage of this dump and me again um i need it i don't care about the balance i just need access to the card this is the version that i would be picking up still great value um for this ultimate rare in ots pack 22 we have branded fusion again this card look look at that stair step just beautiful it's just going through the through the motions look at that you had the first spike retracement back down to the mean second spike retracement back down to the mean what do you think is going to happen next third spike and then you know that'll be that third leg up and then it'll be a good time to decide if you guys want to unload this card but again you want to get it in a retracement back down to the mean the trend is your friend until the end this is a clear beautiful uptrend with higher highs and higher lows the chart just beautiful for this card for this ultimate rare broken effect branded is getting hype 46 mid uh, mid 40s right here 46s this is going to be 50 dollars in no time and probably surpass the 55 billy mark towards 60s and 70s down the line it's just waiting for that band there's people getting ready people getting their play sets i honestly can't blame them as well then you have pure lily this kind this card look we were talking about this card since single digits and it's just been going up ever since people are getting ready with the rarity collection too they'll have all their other shiny cardboard and seven different rarity uh rarities to pick up and uh hey people are going to want the ot's of this one 33 uh listings four pages only this is going to be 15s before you know it and eventually 20s and beyond down the line we've started the trend trend hey good things take time patience wins this game is just going through the motions with the first high second higher high um you know and now it's just working on a higher low before its continuation towards 15s and eventually 20s i really do like this ultimate rare we have runic dispelling guys runic is making waves in the meta i need to discuss um runic soon in in uh market watch probably in our next market watch so stay tuned for that guys we're going to be discussing most likely runics but definitely uh the meta so the current meta right before the ban list so stay tuned but yeah runic dispelling you want to make sure you have guys have access to these super rares these super rares are moving up in price as people are playing runics at 28 listings three pages only yeah you have walls of china at a billy 50 but then after that is two billies and beyond you guys want to make sure you're early we talked about this card when it was shekels and no one cared about it and now to see it spiking up and moving up is actually impressive um and uh yeah look let's go through the data here look some sales uh let's see let's see billies 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 okay so people have been buying these at billies not bad at all but right now ready up 50 percent from that mark i mean the demand is coming in guys we have unchained abomination this card is still free it's still cheap play sets at 40 cents look multiples at 35 cents walls at what 50 cents that's what you want the walls of china 64 listing let's clean this up real quick look guys 55 listings only six pages don't take this for granted a card that is worth shekels today could be worth billy's tomorrow you guys want to make sure that you're early for a deck archetype that is coming back into the meta frame and post balance it could become even more dominant once again so you guys want to make sure that you have access to this card today that is cheap that could become expensive tomorrow then we have archfiend eccentric the common of ots tournament pack 22 the penny stock common that i would be focusing on at quarters beautiful beautiful to see multiples at quarters because this card will be most likely billy's down at least a billy down the line 74 listings eight pages that's good it gives you time to accumulate to be one of these smart people coming in and buying this at quarters penny stock cheap cards that you can three four x down the line you come in get at least a place and maybe an r09 you're gonna be eating good you're gonna be eating well in the future then we have ots tournament pack 21 with fenrir here making moves we have sprite blue we have rhino heart that we talked about uh, not too long ago and a couple of other cards now guys fenrir was what 36 37s bumping up a little bit to 40s getting sales even at the 40 level but the trend is your friend until the end not just towards the upside but also to the downside and this card is in a clear downtrend where the high was at 50s and we made a low at 42s the, the the lower high at 45s and then the lower low at 36 it's a downtrend you know um i wouldn't be buying this card right now me i would be waiting for the list that's it you know that's it that's just what i would be doing it's a card that has been hovering around similar price ranges forever around 35 to 45 just in that range 18 listings two pages hard hard to get certainly being used in the meta right now uh, i think this card gets hit honestly barely minimum at two 
maybe even at one who knows even if banned even though i doubt you know that far um but this card gets hit it just does it's too good i think it, it's it's time in the next uh, ban list we'll see um what actually happens with this one but yeah man this isn't a downtrend for the last three months and uh yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't look started here the downtrend with a, a, a low lower than the previous low i don't like that i expect us to revisit the low 30s for this one especially if a ban list comes out now we have sprite blue this one honestly it's it's beautiful i i can't wait i can't wait for sprite blue to either get reprinted in the tins or in the rarity collection too i'm excited why because this 19 dollar 19 20 card is going to be single digits i can't wait i mean I, I don't know that's a far stretch you know of my imagination but at least 15s you know probably in the in the uh, uh mid to low teens i like it i like it. i can't wait but right now 31 listings right now cards has yet to be reprinted again so it's going to hold this value some people out there playing this that uh this card and the deck so four pages only i uh, look people coming in getting their play sets i can't wait to play sprite again and currently at all-time lows with this card so uh look in a downtrend same here lower highs and lower lows the trend is your friend until the end so i wouldn't be buying this card out until like buying this card up until it gets that next impending reprint in there either in the tins or in the rarity collection so we have tournaments rhino heart we talked about this one not too long ago so won't go into too much detail all i'm going to say that it's continues it continues to consolidate here guys look 15 billies already i think we were talking about this card at 12 to 13s the demand is starting to come in it, this was an easy call two pages only 20 listings we were talking about this one insane when we it was look 1283s that's when we were talking about it now it's 15s quickly becomes 20s why light swarms light sworn tier limits is around the corner we said it um people have high expectations they can't wait for legacy of destruction to come out and people are getting ready it's as easy as that guys we have ots tournament pack 20 look at reaper single digit reaper man. <laughs> oh man hey we all take losses sometimes we can't win them all it's fine i mean this is an ultimate rare i expect this to get reprinted in the rarity collection too and we said it when it was 20 25s i would i unloaded a couple of these i would be unloading you know this card and now we're at single digits it's beautiful beautiful i mean if it gets a reprint in the rarity collection too imagine seeing five dollar uh, ot uh, uh ghost reaper winner chair bro i just get 50 more honestly because at that point it's just so undervalued compared to what is going to be in the future card is beautiful we obviously have jester of despia here a luber and sky striker ace ray as the old season then great cards and ots tournament pack 20 i really like the cards that we have here so i gave my analysis on this one i can't believe this card is essentially single digits um people still coming in and buying this it's still a ghost girl don't get it twisted it's still a ghost girl still an ots tournament pack ultimate rare and as the months and years pass by i still think that this card is going to have its time it will in the future I know it, it better you know we have sky striker ace ray um ultimate rare this one i think it's good it's good to keep on your radar it's, it's good to get exposure in the teens guys we're getting new sky striker support you guys want to make sure you guys get exposure to an ot ot ray bro at teens 50 dollars for a play set that's good man that's good well once the sky striker support comes out the demand will come in for this card so make sure you keep it in mind and then a luber here it continues to consolidate in the teens i'm um, right here but hey branded hype could be around the corner post banless even more so 26 listings a couple of twos and one ofs and then eventually it's over almost 24 to 25s at the bottom of the page three pages only it's an ultimate rare guys if you play branded no excuse to not pick up your place at, at these current prices there's just a lot of value right now a lot of deals take advantage of that we have herald of the orange light another one that people expect you know to see um a reprint in the rarity collection too let's see i expect that as well but no one knows until it actually happens or has this one been announced already i don't even remember but guys right here a couple of one of ro6s are at twos and then eventually pushing threes 38 listings people coming in look billy bob's already getting play sets at four billies but the man has spiked up for this one a new high in the last three months if it doesn't get reprinted in the in the rarity collection too this card is going to be five dollars you know it's going to be five dollars easy easy we have grave of the super ancient organism as a super rare this is cheap at under billies these are deals these are deals for the long term the ones and two ofs eventually you know look if you want a play set you need three dollars three dollars to get a play set of this card so uh yeah if you can squeeze any ones or twos uh, in in any of your buy orders that's that's good that's good to make sure you add this to your collection beautiful super rare um grave of the super ancient organism from ots tournament pack 
20. We have King of the Swamp as a common, like this one as well. Retracing back down to the mean to the previous um pivot low right here. I like it. Still technically uh, a higher low for now. So, you know, again, if you can get this card at 65 cents, the R06, that is not bad. You know, a wallet China here, 70 cents, but eventually this will be a Billy Common. It's just so good. Um, it's an iconic card. I love the artwork. And for now is budget, but eventually this most likely will be a Billy and beyond. We have Black Wing Arm Wing. Guys, this OTS Tournament Pack 20 common just is so good. I mean, every Black Wing player plays this at one to twos. I personally have two in my black in, in my value turbo deck. Look at the uptrend. The charts don't lie. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. Look, low of 30 cents, high of 80 cents, just beautiful higher highs and higher lows. Clear uptrend, guys, on the charts. So again, if you can come in and get this card cheap, do it. Look, right now at 74 cents, this is going to be a billy sooner rather than later. A billy and beyond. Look, some smart people making investments. Now, this person paid, got half. Look, if he would have bought at this price, he would have had this amount. So, you know, 42 and uh, this was a smart person, man. Damn, I didn't know that was there. If I knew, I don't think I would have bought 43, but I would have, you know, gotten at least a couple of places because, man, th those were deals, man. Come on now. Where's the. We need more of these guys so we can take advantage of this Blackwing card. The demand is not going anywhere. Edison is here. I mean, the hype is here. The Blackwing is one of the best deck, if not the best deck, you know, um, considered by the masses. Um, so um, this card is going to go up. I personally have a playset in my Edison binder. I'm just sitting there of this common because, um, uh, yeah, I expect it to go up. Sometimes it's just as easy peasy, just as easy. Jay, what are you saying, guys? Yeah, towards the end of the video, I always love having fun with you guys. Guys, thank you so much for your time, for your support, for your attention. Stay fresh.